is Dr. Sarah Renner, and I'm the artist faculty of oboe at the Omaha Conservatory of Music. I'm here to talk a little bit about some of these all-state etudes that we have coming up. So what you just heard was the Fairling number 11 excerpt. And the main challenge with this excerpt is to keep the momentum going forward, even in this slow tempo. So I'm going to teach you a little trick that you can use throughout this etude, and you can apply it to any other slow lyrical type of piece or solo you have. So this little trick is to articulate the subdivisions of all of the longer notes you have. So this is going to do two things. It's going to, number one, ensure some rhythmic accuracy. And number two, it's going to maintain a constant forward moving airstream, which is going to be required to connect the notes, especially through these descending slurs. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can practice this. So it's just articulating subdivision with this slow tempo. You could even do 16th notes to take it a, to a deeper level. And so that's just going to make sure that the air is always moving forward so that you can get those clean, crisp articulations. And once you feel comfortable with that, you can take them away, still keep them going in your head, but you can take them away and play them as written and notice the difference in the ease and the connection and just the more natural feeling that you have. So that's a trick that you can apply throughout this entire etude and also something you can use in any of your lyrical passages. So here we have the scherzando. The thing that's going to be the most helpful for this etude is to make sure that you keep things very light, thinking on all the notes as going up rather than pushing down into the note. So one of the things that's going to help with that is to make sure that your staccatos are not too short. So because this is so fast, that space between the notes is going to occur naturally. So if you try to make the notes too short and too staccato, you're just going to you're just going to get in your own way. You can't you can't go as fast, the tone isn't there and it just lacks the forward motion that this music needs. So if you focus more on this, the phrase of the music and the style and the line of everything just moving up, thinking a little bit longer on those staccatos so that you can get a nice, beautiful tone out of the note, the speed is going to take care of the rest. So I was thinking more of just a longer a longer line i wasn't thinking about the notes being short at all but i was thinking more of just a lighter uh upward articulation like throwing a ball up in the air so that's going to be the trick and the key to this uh this etude and this this type of of playing and these styles and as always remember to pick a tempo that is comfortable for you and whatever you need to play it as accurately as possible. So thank you so much. I hope that you have found this helpful and I wish you the best of luck. Happy practicing.